My name is uh, Jesse Visto, and I was hoping that Mr. Fagas would be here today, but as Berlin has stated, he uh, cowered out one more time. I'd like to address the Commission's Court before the Council of the Election. First, I'd like to thank the Court for allowing us to speak today. And second, I'd like to commit the candidates to place their names on the ballots and those that ran as a write-in. I am concerned about one of those candidates, and he happened to win with 584 people voting for him. This individual failed our children, our teachers, and he was one of the first officers to arrive at Rob. He happens to be a high-ranking official with UPB. I understand that he doesn't report to you, he doesn't work for you, but this is one of the avenues that we have to address Mr. Fargas directly. He was made aware that people were injured and dying, and yet he did nothing. A young girl called 911 from room 112 asking for help, and he simply led her and other people to die. I have more respect for this young person than this officer. She did what her parents instructed her to do, and the officers failed her. For that matter, many officers failed her. This haunts us every single day. And frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'm sorry that this child had to endure this pain. Mr. Fagas, by now you realize that I'm talking about you. You have brought shame to the community. You have brought shame to law enforcement. You have tarnished the badge. I cannot believe that you did not withdraw from the commissioner's race. But I really can't believe that 584 people actually took the trouble to get in their vehicle or somehow fill out a ballot, circle a little dot, point the little finger, and to actually select your name. Absolute failure. Mr. Fagas, I'm here to remind you one more time of your failure today. I want you to take a good look at the people that are here. I want you to take a good look at the families that are here. And I want you to know, sir, that every single day when you run into us at HEB or Walmart, any store, we're always going to be here to remind you of that, Mr. Fargas. I know it's something that's going to be hard that you have to live with, but you have no place in a leadership role. We're asking you to respectfully resign from being a commissioner and respectfully decline your new appointment as, as county commissioner. Thank you.